Hello, I'm Logan Smith with the head coach of the Walsh Cavalier football team, Dan Pfeiffer, and it's been a few months that you since you've been on campus, but uh, the, the energy is definitely very high and the season's right around the corner. Uh, does that coincide with your feeling for the upcoming year? Yeah, I think the, the spring went smooth. Um, coming in and you know getting a late start recruiting, so we just kind of hit the ground running and that finished up strong and then kind of led us right into spring ball, mm -hmm. kind of see what we had on the team. And then, uh, you know, got away here for the summer, you know, kind of get things situated there. And now we're, what, over a week away and ready to start. So things have been really smooth. So, yeah, the energy stuff, like I said, has been good over the summer uh, and, you know, right around the corner. Uh, talk about the upcoming season and what you got kind of listed on the schedule. Because we're in a new conference, so not only is it a new school for you, but it's a new conference as well. Yeah, I mean, I think that's what the excitement you know, a lot of it is about is because there's a lot of unknowns coming into a new conference, you mm -hmm. know, and so we're excited to see where we're at with this new conference. You know, I think everybody in the league's got a chance to win it, you know, if uh, they get some some good breaks and, you know, can stay injury free and mm -hmm. that. So I think that's the exciting part of it is you know, who's going to come out of this thing winning the first ever you know conference championship in the GMAC. You know, as far as the upcoming season for us, you know, it's still a lot of uh, unknowns. You know, we only had 15 practices with yeah. our guys right now. So, we, you know, we have an idea on some guys, but there's still a lot of question marks, you know, at a, at a lot of positions that we got to sort out quickly, yeah. you know, into camp and start to figure out our depth chart a little bit, start getting those guys more reps and, and figuring out what's what there. So, uh, you know, from that standpoint, yeah, we might have a little more work to do than some of the other teams, you know, that have mm -hmm. staffs in place and that. And so we got to identify our guys as quick as possible, you know, and then start getting in the reps and start getting ready for get, you know, week one, you know, against Wayne State. Well, let's talk about that a little bit. Uh, I mean, what are some of the players on, you know, each side of the ball that you hope that are going to make an impact this year? Right. You know, typically, you know, like I said, we don't know. A lot of the guys right now, we've had 15 practices, yeah. but you, generally you want to count on those seniors. You know, yeah. they've had some some experience, you know, and, and we do have some seniors on the on the team that have played, you know, offensively, especially up front. You know, you had, um, Aiden O'Neill, you know, has played a lot of football. Is going to be a senior. You mm -hmm. know, the whole O line in general. Um, Gresham's played a lot of football. We got Matt Mace, you know, and Steer and Hobson. We get we think. We got some depth there. We just got to figure out who's who. Where can they go? Yeah. With that, you know, we we like to tie it in H back core right now. We've got some guys that have had some experience there, you know, Hamble and, and Kundrat, you know, and those kind of guys that have played some ball, you know, and so we got we got to figure that position out too. Mm -hmm. You know, Hamble's there. We got uh, Macklin's uh, wasn't in spring ball, was hurt. You know, we've heard good things about him. So you know, there's four guys there that we we think you know we got something there. And, you know, it just kind of goes on with every position. Wideouts, we got to figure out what we got there. There's a couple of guys running back, you know, and so it, it's it's going to be really tough for us, and we got to do a good job identifying who our guys are quickly yep. and get them going. The same thing defensively. A lot of guys, especially on D line, you know, with Brantley and, and Richardson and Moore and those guys and Hunter. Reichenbach and those guys have all played a lot of football, you know, and then linebackers the same thing, you know, Sanchez and, and Seamus O'Sullivan and those guys. You got Fitchwell who's in there as a younger guy, you know, but we think could do some good things. You know, Nick Sturgill played as a freshman, the secondary, mm -hmm. you know, it's the same thing. A lot of guys have played, Ronnie Robinson and Hurd and, and Griffin and Hall, you know, there's a list goes on and on. And yeah. we've seen some good things from all of them. Yeah. You know, and there's definitely some things we got to work on too. So, you know, to say who's what, we don't know. As we said, every position's open right yeah. now. You know what I mean? And you got to prove yourself that you know you're worthy of that starting spot, and then you got to maintain to keep it too. Because we got freshmen coming in that want that spot and would mm -hmm. like to play as a freshman. So, you know, nobody's got a solidified spot, and you got to work at it. And we'll find out here in a week, you know, kind of where we're at. So, and that's that's important key too, uh, because there's going to be a new system in place. Uh, mm -hmm. I'm sure on both sides of the ball. Uh, yep. Without giving too much away, can you? Yeah, talk we're, about we want to be. Yeah, we want to be spread offense. You know, which most teams nowadays are all doing some yeah. form of. And you know, what direction we go with that? Who knows? You know, is it a, a you know ten personnel type spread, or you know, we using some H backs and tight ends in there? And how much? You know, we don't know right now until we kind of see what we have. And one thing that, as I said, we got to do as coaches is adapt to what we have. You mm -hmm. know, what I mean, and make it work. You know, we can't come in and just say here's our system and you know beat our heads against a wall all yeah. football season and and I wonder why it can't work. So we got to be able to adapt to same thing defensively. We have an idea. We want to be aggressive, you know, defensively, but we'll probably be multiple just to fit the personnel that we yeah. have. You know, which most teams are nowadays. Nobody's really a three man front. 
front or a four man front. It's so personnel oriented. You know, you're kind of subbing in to match the other team's packages. So and we got to be able to do the same thing. You know, I mean, as far as matching personnel and get us in the best situation. You know, I mean that we can win that play. And so. You know, but it, it's it's going to be an ongoing process for sure as the season goes. You know, and and keep finding out where we're at. The biggest thing I think for us in the first year is we got to keep improving every yep. week. You know, and we got a lot of time at camp. You got four non-conference games. You know, we got to be able to to hit the ground running and be kind of peaking when we hit that first week of conference play. Mm-hmm. Is is really the goal here to to see where we're at and what we can do. Now, uh, with you know. Bunch of new faces everywhere, including yours, of course. Uh, mm-hmm. Talk about your coaching staff, and we got a few familiar faces as well, uh, if you don't mind. Yeah, I, mean, I like the coaching staff. You know, we all kind of know each other some mm-hmm. way, shape, or form. You know, whether you know, personally or through other coaches, whatever. That I think really helped the transition as far as us hitting the ground running when we got here for recruiting. You know, Coach Fank and Coach Jordan Robert here, who I knew through other relationships and that didn't know him personally per se, but knew a lot of guys who knew of them. Yeah. And that, so that made it very easy. You know, I've known Coach Johnston, you know, um, who'll be running the defense, you know, for a long time. You know, Coach Shrew was running the offense I grew up with, you know, since high school, knew him. Uh, Coach King came with us. You know, from all of that, so the, all of us kind of have a core there, you know, and then and know uh, Coach Newell through a couple other coaches that we knew and Coach Dasher. So some way, before, like I said, I kind of knew a lot of the coaches. You know, and then we got Coach Black, who's with our running backs. He played for us at Olivetto, be a GA, and Skyler helped out last year as a student assistant. He'll be helping out again, and, and Coach Furbeck was here, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And, and uh, we'll be coaching the tight end H-backs, which is huge because he played O-line. So we got an O-line guy who can teach those guys to do some blocking stuff. They all can catch the ball, you know, but getting them to block is another one. So now we kind of yeah. have an O-line mentality at that position. So that'll help as well. So I, I love the staff and where we're going with it. And, uh, you know, it's been really good. That's the biggest part, I think, of the transition is having that continuity and knowing the guys and that and, and being able to get some stuff done quickly, you know, without people coming from all different directions. Mm-hmm. So it's been good. Well, I'm definitely looking forward to the upcoming season. Uh, going back to our old home, or sort of new home, I guess, to it, uh, Tom Benson Stadium. Uh, any thoughts on that as well? Yeah, I think that's going to be phenomenal. I mean, we've driven by it a few times already, and they've made a lot of progress, and it's going to be done. You know, the Hall of Fame game's coming up this week, so we're excited to go into that state. I mean, it's the best D2 stadium in the country. I don't think you're going to find a stadium oh, like that right. anywhere with the suites and all that. You know, that we have the capabilities, you know, to use it on our game day. And when it's all done, you know, here in two years, when they have the amusement park of it and indoor water park and world's largest sports bar and all that, I mean, it's going to be a great game day atmosphere. And I told our guys, you know, our job is to win games so we can try to fill the place. Yeah. You know, that's our goal and get as many people as we can. So we got to put a good product on the field. Mm-hmm. You know, it's our number one goal. But it is a great place to call home. There's no doubt about that. It, it's, it's not, I don't think you can argue that it's the best Division II stadium in, in the country. So it's going to be a great deal. Well, looking forward to all things in terms of the football team. Uh, once again, welcome, uh, in case nobody has seen you, but I think you've done <laughs> a great job of getting your uh, uh, view out there and your brand out there yeah. uh, in terms of Walsh University football. So okay. thank you very much, and looking forward to the upcoming season. Thank you. Oh, no problem. Yeah. This is Logan Smith for Dan Pfeiffer. Looking forward to seeing you in 2017. Go Cavs! <laughs>